Ivy. Mm -hmm. What is it with you two? <laughs> Sheridan is dead, and you're smiling. There's nothing to be happy about. Well, Ivy, the sooner we begin the healing process. <laughs> you weren't healing, Rebecca. You were plotting. I just don't know what. Oh, nonsense, pet. We were smiling because we were, we were thinking about the future, Ethan and Gwen's future. Mm. Give Ivy the newspaper, would you, Rebecca? I know she'll get a big kick out of it. <laughs> you know, if the whole Lopez Fitzgerald clan leaves town uh, in familia, our biggest concern will be how soon we can get the church for the wedding. Don't forget about the church. We can have the wedding here in the mansion on 24 hours notice. Terrible. Oh, indeed. How could Ethan say these things about Sam? Why are you so concerned about Sam? Bennett, Ivy. Perhaps what I saw in the mirror was true after all, hmm? Oh, what did you see? There they were, entwined, smoldering. And I assure you, it was real. <laughs> An hallucination, Julian. You were seeing things. Was I? Of course. Oh, right. And you are just a concerned citizen rallying to the defense of our beloved and not to mention incorruptible chief of police. Hmm? Sam Bennett is a pillar of this community, and very popular. Yes, I sometimes wonder how popular. Ethan can't just slam the man like this. If, if he ever hopes to run for political office, then he has to stay on the good side of the people of Harmony. Oh, not to worry, dear heart. I, I'm sure I won't be the first New Englander to buy an election for his son. <sighs> Ethan will win simply because he is a trustworthy, honorable, brilliant young man. He doesn't need you to rig the election for him. It kills me to see my son hating his father like this. What can I do to stop it? Oh, Granny, good morning, kids. <laughs> good morning, darling. Good morning, Mother. Well, you're quite the early riser yourself, Gwen. Did you get any sleep last night at all, dear? Oh, he slept, but not without a share of nightmares about Sheridan. Oh, well, that's perfectly understandable. I had my share, too. It was a terrible, terrible night. Sheridan's obituary must be in here. Oh, yes. That's true. She was very kind and giving and much beloved. And she will be missed. Ethan Crane holds Sam Bennett and Luis Lopez Fitzgerald of the Harmony Police Department responsible for his aunt's death? What, what the hell is this? Uh, beg pardon? I would never give a quote like this. I mean, I may uh, believe in the accusations, but as a lawyer, I know better than to have myself quoted like this. Oh, idiot reporters. They never get anything right. It doesn't matter now, anyway. The Cranes are filing a lawsuit against Sam and Luis and the Harmony PD immediately, so... No! Mother, I know you don't agree with my going after Sam Bennett, but I have to do something. The Harmony Police Department is responsible for Sheridan's death. Entirely. They, they would have guarded her properly. Sheridan would still be alive today. I don't know that for sure. Mother, we have to use the crane power and influence to force Luis and Sam off the police force. There's no other alternative. Think about it, Ethan. What good will that do? None whatsoever. It'll only make things worse, throw the police department in, into turmoil. There is such a thing as justice. And we shall have it. <sighs> Sheridan is dead. And no degree of justice is going to change that. It's not going to bring her back. Just leave Sam Bennett alone. Why is Ivy so protective of Sam? Could it possibly have something to do with her big secret? Have you seen the paper, Bolar? Yes. 
Sheridan's dying was bad enough, and now this. Ethan blames Sam for what happened to his aunt. I, I can't stand this, seeing my son turn against his own father. Mrs. Green, keep your voice down. It's driving me crazy, Valor. Sheridan was like an anchor for Ethan, you know? She had this way of always calming him down. She was more like, more like an older sister. Oh, and now that she's gone, Ethan is just lost. He's shattered. There's no telling what he'll do to Sam. Oh, maybe I should just tell Ethan the truth. Get the whole bloody thing over with. Telling Ethan will only make things worse. He will not only have lost Sheridan, he'll lose himself, his identity. If you tell Ethan, the whole situation will become an out-and-out -out disaster. Tut, tut, tut. Every time I turn my back, the two of you are whispering. Is it your secret, Ivy? Discussing the many skeletons in your cavernous walk-in closet? I haven't time for your nonsense, Julian. I have no secret. I do hope, Pilar, that you're not trying to convince Ivy, now that Sheridan is gone, that Ethan should marry for love. Put more plainly, that he should marry Teresa. Ethan loves Gwen much more deeply than he could ever love Teresa. Our conversation had nothing to do with any of this. Glad to hear it. Uh, just a reminder, Pilar, make sure that your brood, especially your daughter, stays away from my family. Do I make myself clear? Because we've seen what a Lopez Fitzgerald did to Sheridan. I don't want that to happen to Ethan. You do understand my concern, don't you? So Ethan is the future of the Crane family. If Teresa goes anywhere near Ethan, so help me God, I will destroy her. Are you threatening my daughter, Mr. Crane? Merely stating a fact. I will not stand for you threatening her. Do you understand? The Cranes don't make threats. We deliver. You can act the mama bear all you like, but deep down in your heart of hearts, you know you can't go up against the cranes. And if you try, we will destroy Teresa. Dear. If Ethan follows through with his threat to have Sam... I don't know what I'll do. I, I can't stand by and watch that happen. I wouldn't. I can do that and that. That'd be the end of me. Oh, good Lord, look at the time. 